Hello and welcome to Select 10. In this video, we'll list our top 10 recommendations for the best new Hollywood films released in 2023. This list includes some of the best recent action, science fiction, and thriller films that you shouldn't miss. Let us know in the comments how many films from this list you have seen or plan to see later. Now let's start the video. Number 10. 65. It is a 2023 science fiction action thriller film written and directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods. The story revolves around a pilot who crashes on an unidentified planet and realizes that he is actually on some other Earth, not his own, and soon he finds that it is an Earth during the dinosaur period where he must face the hostile primitive atmosphere to remain alive. In his search for rescue possibilities, he meets another human, a teenage girl named Koa, and together they must navigate an uncharted landscape filled with terrifying dinosaurs in a tremendous struggle for survival. If you're hoping for some entertaining dinosaur clashes and an alien invasion, this film delivers. It is a decent movie you can see for entertainment, but you could be disappointed if you were hoping for something special or exceptional. Overall, the storyline explores the plot when a dinosaur-killing asteroid is about to impact Earth, which is thrilling to see. Otherwise, it is routine film with some unique and different plots, but it is entertaining enough to see. Number 9. Missing. It is a 2023 suspense thriller film directed by Will Merrick and Nick Johnson. The story revolves around June Allen, a teenage girl, as she searches for her mother after she vanishes while on a trip in Spain with her new partner. June starts her investigation and hunt for solutions, but is restricted and unable to travel worldwide. Being stranded in Los Angeles, far away, June smartly employs all the most cutting-edge technologies at her disposal to try to locate her mother before it's far too late. Yet as she continues to delve further, her online investigation soon uncovers truths about her mother and creates more concerns than it does explanations. Missing is a standalone sequel to the 2018 film Searching and is told exclusively through devices, including CCTV smartphones and cameras. Although the film's pattern may not appeal to everyone, the plot is pretty solid and the suspense and mystery it contains keep you on the edge the entire time. Number 8. Luther, The Fallen Sun. It is a 2023 crime thriller film directed by Jamie Payne. If you've watched the show, you'll be able to relate to the movie. However, even if you haven't, you can still consider it a standalone crime drama because the TV show had a satisfying ending and this movie is just another addition. The narrative centers on clever but disgraced investigator John Luther, who is wrongfully imprisoned, but not until a serial murderer he was unable to apprehend begins to mock him and terrorize London with a killing spree. Luther makes the decision to escape from prison, to complete the job using any methods required, as he continues to be tormented by his failure and to apprehend the criminal who's currently challenging him. While the film fell short of the expectations set by the television show, it will still appeal to viewers who enjoy crime dramas. If you have watched the Luther series, don't skip the movie, because it does have a kind of open ending that suggests more Luther stories. Number 7. Megan. It is a sci-fi thriller film directed by Gerard Johnstone. The story revolves around Katie, who lost her parents in a car accident and is placed in her aunt Gemma's care. On the other hand, Gemma struggles after being unexpectedly entrusted with looking after her niece Katie, but to keep Katie occupied while she works, Gemma chooses to connect her with Megan, an android prototype doll, in an effort to help Katie make herself at home. But, Gemma is unaware that her choice will have unthinkable repercussions, and soon the unexpected starts when Gemma commands Megan to keep Katie safe from any harm. Megan accepts this directive as her main objective and starts using risky techniques to keep Katie safe. Who would have guessed that a child Terminator would go on a rampage to defend another child? This movie takes the Terminator subject in an unusually fascinating way, it's a bit bizarre and different to see. In addition, the development of Megan 2.0 makes the film's conclusion all the more intriguing. It will be fascinating to see where the writers take the plot from here. Number 6. Cocaine Bear. It is a 2023 comedy horror film directed by Elizabeth Banks. The film is inspired by the 1985 real-life story of a pharmaceutical plane accident where drugs fell into the wild forest and were eaten by a black bear, causing havoc. The film centers on a bizarre group of police officers, thieves, travelers, and teenagers who happen to visit a forest for a different reason, where they are forced to face a 500-pound bear who has consumed an incredible quantity of cocaine and gone on the rampage, killing everyone who gets in his way. Meanwhile, the cocaine's owner embarks on a mission to find it and comes face to face with a merciless bear. 
The story is straightforward and entertaining, and you won't find anything extraordinary here other than a few action scenes and humorous jokes. Overall, this is a decent film that you can watch for fun. Number 5. Operation Fortune. It is a 2023 spy action comedy film, directed by Guy Ritchie. The movie follows a band of mercenaries, led by Orson Fortune, as they attempt to recover lost high-tech equipment before a weapons company sells it to a potential buyer. For their mission, the crew enlists the help of the dealer's favorite actor, Danny, one of Hollywood's best film stars. As the transfer of a dangerous new technology begins, Orson and his team force Danny to assist them on a covert global mission to retrieve the device. The chaos begins when their cover is blown and dealers dispatch hitmen to track them down, while other unknown groups meddle and complicate their job. I won't lie, I have loved every Guy Ritchie film, and this one did not let me down either. But, that may not be the case for all of you. The two positives are, Jason Statham, and some amazing fast-paced action. The drawbacks include the standard storyline. Overall, it's a good film that capitalizes on Jason's popularity as an action star and Guy Ritchie's dedicated fan base. Number 4. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Opinion on this film depends on the expectations, and for me, I was excited for Kang and a look at Phase 5, but I was satisfied with what this gave. Nonetheless, there is no doubt that the film would have been insane if it had a better plot or included more of Kang's origin story, but instead, it feels like they purposefully limited Kang's story in Ant-Man, suggesting they had other plans to include more of Kang's story, so let's see. The film centers on a heist in which Kong blackmails Ant-Man into obtaining a crucial item that, let's say, he misplaced in the quantum realm. The majority of the movie focuses on Scott as he tries to pull off the heist, while Wasp, Cassie, Hank, and Jane plan to finally stop Kang. It would not be fair to compare this movie to Thor Love and Thunder because it is far better and has a stronger connection to the MCU. The entire movie relies on Jonathan Major's portrayal of Kang, he was terrifying and made everyone eagerly anticipate his future appearances. If there is one reason to see this movie, it is because of Kang and his debut. Number 3. Scream 6. It is a 2023 slasher film, directed by Matt Bettinelli Olpen and Tyler Gillette. It is the sixth movie in the Scream series, and a follow-up to Scream, 2022. The movie follows a fresh ghost face who goes after the Woodsboro ghost attack survivors. The film sees the return of almost all of the franchise's major stars, from Jenna Ortega to Courtney Cox, along with a few characters who join them in a struggle for their survival when a new attacker goes on a murdering spree. The film is intensely emotional and violent, and the character-driven narrative keeps you engaged the entire time. Despite the fact that Sidney Prescott's absence is felt, the movie leaves the door open for potential follow-up stories and is easily the best installment in the franchise so far. Number 2. The Wandering Earth 2. It serves as a pre-equal to the movie The Wandering Earth. If you haven't seen the first movie, here's a quick recap so you can understand the second movie's plot. The Wandering Earth is set in a distant future, where a sun that is abnormally growing poses a threat to consume the Earth. The main plot follows a team of scientists and rescue personnel as they try to steer Earth away from a growing sun and avoid colliding with Jupiter. The rest of the movie focuses on the issues with Earth's engines that endanger the planet's ability to survive a collision. The new film is a pre-equal, and it shows the events leading up to the Wandering Earth project. In it, we witness people resisting the idea until something strikes that unites them all. While the story addresses the same theme of Earth's survival as the first film, it also introduces numerous additional subplots that fill in some of the original film's plot gaps. Overall, the film has plenty to appeal to fans of various genres, but sci-fi fans will especially enjoy it. The two main positives are its astounding visual effects and how engrossing it is. The two main negatives are its confusing narrative and undeveloped ideas, but overall, it is engaging enough to keep your attention. Number 1. Creed 3. It is a 2023 sports drama film directed by Michael B. Jordan. It is the third installment in the Creed series, the follow-up to Creed 2, 2018, and the ninth overall in the Rocky movie franchise. Although Rocky doesn't appear in this film, there have been rumors that he will in future ones. After the events of Creed 2, Adonis becomes the new boxing champion and trains the next wave of fighters in a private gym. Adonis has been doing well in his work and personal life, but when an old buddy and renowned boxing sensation makes a comeback after completing a long prison term, he is ready to show that he is worthy of a chance in the arena. 
To resolve their differences, Adonis must risk his career to confront Damien, a boxer who has nothing to lose, making their fight more than simply a match. The film also explores the bond between young Adonis and Damien Anderson, as well as the incidents that separated them. The main attractions are Jonathan Major's performance, the fight scenes, and Michael's direction, which gives the franchise a new, fresh look. The only flaws are occasionally rushed screenplays, but these can be easily overlooked given the film's stylish boxing theme. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.